So this is the second video for chapter 3.2. Uh, again, if you need to pause the video and write down the question, please do so. Um, so chapter 3.2 is about polynomial functions. And remember, we have three restrictions for polynomial. I was going to cover it, I forgot. Uh, we cannot have absolute values because it would be kind of sharp, right? And we cannot have negative exponents because negative exponents mean uh, you have x in the denominator. A lot of time, those uh, graphs will come into pieces. And no fraction as exponents. So fraction as exponents, a lot of time, mean like they are radical, square root, etc. Uh, so it may have some, some sharp turn, or they may not be continuous if it's square root. Um, OK. So let's look at this question. It says for polynomial functions, uh, we want you to decide yes or no for polynomial function for this view. If yes, tell me the degree. If not, why not? Um, so first one, um, hopefully you know square root of x, we can rewrite that as 4x raised to what? 1 half power minus 1. So uh, that's one of these restrictions, right? So we cannot have fraction as exponent, so we're going to say no, not polynomial. Uh, it has fractions as exponents. Okay? Second one, so you have to show me the step on the test to get full credit like this. And then the second one, we can rewrite that as 6 minus 7, x raised to what? If x in the denominator, it means raised to a negative exponent, and this one only to the first power, that's why it's negative 1. And because it has negative exponents, so again, this is not a polynomial, and um, because it has negative exponents. All right, uh, the next question, um, well, it doesn't have absolute values, it doesn't have negative exponents, it doesn't have fraction as exponents. So yes, this is a polynomial. And then we need to find the degree, right? So we need to look for the highest degree. So apparently it's this one, so it's going to be degree 5. Okay. And the next one, we have uh, this. So because of the absolute values, so we say no, nope, not a polynomial and because of the absolute value. So these are also good if you write on the question and try first, and then you can see how the answer looks like. Uh, we may also have something fill in the blank. Uh, the graph of polynomial functions need to be both smooth and continuous. And that's why we have those three restrictions. So hopefully you're okay with that. So that's one of the questions, maybe from 3.2, this type of questions. We did some quizzes like that also. Um, the second question you may see, again, you can pause the video and write down the questions. Uh, may look like this. Um, so this particular one have a function here, and we want to figure out what degree it is. What's the leading term? Find all the zeros. Is it going to be causing or touching? What is the maximum turn? And we probably need to graph a mini graph. All right. So looking at here, look like the first term is negative x, right? And then it's going to need to multiply to x squared. So if you multiply these two together, you're going to end up with negative x cubed. So don't try to multiply it out. It would take too long. I just need to know what sign they have and what degree they have. So as we can see here, that would be my leading term, right? Negative x to the third power. And because to the third power is going to be degree 3. All right? And 0 basically means x in the set, right? If we need to find x in the set, we need to set y equal to 0, right? So we're going to set 0 equal to negative x, x minus 7 squared. 
And when you have x minus 7, it basically just means x minus 7 times an other x minus 7. So the first one is kind of like negative x equal to 0. If you divide negative both sides, basically x equal to 0. And if the square border you, you can write that as x minus 7 equal to 0 and other x minus 7 equal to 0, right? Because you have two of them. But you're going to get x equal to 7 for both of these. So let's see. For the 0, uh, we can list the x in the sub have 0, 0, uh, 7, 0. And this one comes with a degree 1, which is an odd power 0. Odd power 0 is going to be cosine. And the second one comes with a second degree, uh, which makes this an even power 0. So an even power 0 is going to be touching. So I think on the test, we will ask you to write that in points and then ask you if it's causing or touching. So after we find an x-intercept, we probably should find a y-intercept. So y-intercept basically just set x equal to 0, right? So we got y equal to negative 0 times 0 minus 7 squared. So it's like a 0 times maybe 49, which is still 0, right? So my y-intercept should be just 0, 0, which is the same point here. All right, maximum turn. Maximum turn is going to be what degree? Subtract 1, right? So we have a degree 3. So subtracting 1, maximum turn would be 2, right? And if I need to graph a mini graph, you don't have to do the x and y axis. Uh, but you're going to need to think about this is a degree 3, so odd leading power. And you have uh, a leading coefficient is negative. Um, hopefully you still remember those end behavior, which means like one side up, one side down, a negative is left side up, right? And maximum turn is 2, so 2 will be something like that. So that's my mini graph. And just to remind you, if you forget those end behavior stuff, um, we are going to have let's see, um, the end behavior. We can have uh, even leading power, which you can try to remind yourself like the parabola which we know. Uh, even leading power, if A is positive, it's going to be both side up like the open up parabola, right? If A is negative, it's going to be both side down like the set face parabola, right? And if we have odd leading power, uh, again A positive and A negative, we can think about that S curve for Y equal to X cubed. Uh, if odd leading power with A positive is going to be one side up, one side down with the Y side up. Uh, if A is negative, we flip, right? Like this. And maximum turn again is going to be degree minus 1. And then for the causing and touching, um, causing is odd power 0, touching is even power 0. Okay? Okay, one more question for chapter 3.2. So again, you can pause the video. And write down the question if you need it. So let's see. For these questions, um, we need to find the x and y intercept, know if it's touching or causing, maximum turn, and we actually need to graph this one. So we have done a lot of x and y intercept. So x intercept set y equal to 0. Uh, and do not multiply this out, okay? Because it's already a factor for you. So you can solve them easily. Basically, the first one, x plus 1 equal to 0, you solve it. x equal to negative 1. And set this equal to 0, solve for x. x equal to 5. And the last one, set it equal to 0, x equal to negative 4, right? So if I write them as points, 
negative one zero, five zero, negative four zero. Are they causing or touching? Invisible one here, odd power zero, causing. So we did that. And then this one, again, invisible one here, odd power zero, causing. Last one have a two, two is an even power, zero, it's going to be touching. All right, after that we can find y-intercepts. So y-intercept again is going to be setting x equal to zero. So y equal to zero plus one, zero minus five, and 0 plus 4 square. So become 1 times negative 5 times 4 square is 16. So to multiply all of them together, you should get negative 80. Alright, so we divide that as a point, it's going to be 0 comma negative 80. Alright, let's reset x equal to 0, right? So that's my y-intercept. Um, check that. And what degree is it? So let's look at this. I have an x here to the first power. I have another x here to the first power. And then I have the last one is x to the second power. It's positive times positive times positive. So it's going to be positive. And one, two, and two more. So together we should have x to the four, right? So this is the leading term. So this is going to be degree four. Is it okay? If the leading coefficient is positive. And what is the maximum turn? Maximum turn is degree subtract one, right? And minus one. So four minus one is maximum turn is three. I need a mini graph. My mini graph will say that is degree four, so it's even leading power. With my a is positive, so think about even leading power like the parabola. Uh, a positive is both side up. Uh, maximum turn is three, so I need to do three turns. One turn, two turn, three turns look like a W, right? So when I graph it, at the end, it should look kind of like that. And if I'm ready to graph, we're going to have to put all the information in there, including my X and Y intercepts. So X intercept, we got negative one, which is causing we got 5, which is also causing, and then I have a negative 4, which is supposed to be touching. Okay, and it's supposed to look like this guy. Ah, this one. So, I can... Um, so from the top here, look like a W, so I need to cross here. Oh, I forgot my Y intercept is by negative 80, way down there. Negative 80. Okay, so I need to go cross that. And then negative 1 is supposed to cross that too. And then I need to go to my negative 4, but this time just touch, right? I should not cross it, right? So like that. So I still have like a little bit W-shaped, but we fit in all the required elements. So 3.2, you need to know about the end behavior. You need to know how to find the leading term. Um, you need to find the maximum turning points. You know when is it causing and touching. So hopefully that helps. Um, thank you.